So for those of you guys that are new to my channel and don't really know how I make silver, I thought I'd take the chance to showcase exactly what I do as far as focus refining goes and how I make upwards of 60 million silver per hour on some days. The main time consuming part and the question I get a lot is how I buy all of my resources from the market. And if you look here, I still have buy orders left over. Every single day, I place large buy orders for basically every resource in the game. The only one I'm not buy ordering right now is actually logs. Everything else I place large buy orders for all the time. And I don't really clear them, I just let them go. I usually go through every week or so and clear them off. But the main time consuming part of this method is actually buy ordering the materials and transporting them. Now, obviously, if you only have a couple accounts, like a lot of you guys who only have anywhere from one to five accounts, you don't even really have to transport. If you want, you can just buy like five, two, six, one or something from the focus refining city and transmute it up into whatever tier you want to refine. But for me, just the sheer amount that I focus refine, you do have to buy these off the market. So I will collect all these off the market. We'll get them moved to Martlock and then go from there. Also, a lot of people ask me how I get so much material to focus refine. For those of you that were looking, you can see I have well over 13,000, or I had well over 13,000 buy orders on the market. And the majority of these, if you look through, were all bought within the last four days, other than the occasional very low tier hide, which I haven't gotten around to transporting yet. This is what the vast majority of the time in refining goes to, is transporting those materials. Buy order materials for me, at least with the amount of silver I have and the amount of buy orders I can place, is very easy. There's plenty of material on the market. A lot of people are like, how do you buy that amount of resources? How do you sell that amount of resources? That's ridiculous. You must like break the market. It's actually a very small, like, the percentage that I refine per day, even though it looks like a ton for one person to do, isn't even close to like 1% of the entire market for resources. So that's the main reason why I make videos on refining and not other things is because any of you guys can get into this doing what I do, and we will be a very, very small minority of the market just from how large it is. So everything's transported now. Now the only thing left to do is take it over to the plot and refine it. You can see all the stuff that I have been refining, about half a billion there. This I will transport today as well, but this is usually the tab that I put all of my refining stuff in. So we have 800 million silver in hide here to focus refine that I've purchased over the last three or four days or so. Again, this is probably more than I will need on all my accounts. I only have about 50 leather refining accounts right now. So I'm not going through anywhere near as much hide as I am ore currently, but eventually we'll scale up to where I have about a hundred of each and uh, we will be able to actually use up this amount, but we'll go start refining and see how much the inventory value goes up each time. I'm expecting each account, the S keep in mind the estimated market value of the inventory is going to go up a lot more because I do not have a plot in Martlock. And for those of you that have been looking, the taxes in Martlock are very high. So I will be paying a lot of silver to taxes on the plot. So the estimated market value will look like it's going up much more than I'm actually earning, but we'll head over to the plot and start the focus refining.
All right, so that is it for my focus refining. In total, the inventory value I took to the plot was just over 450 million. I don't have it all on me right now if you skipped ahead. So we'll have to go to the island and grab the rest. I did put 100 million into the bank. So if we withdraw this, we can see we spent 19.2 million. So I'll add 19.2 to the cost that we spent. So in total, with raw material and the silver cost, we spent 473 million silver. Now we'll just very quickly, easily, we can come to the plot here and we'll just look at the inventory value of everything post refining. So if we come here to this chest, this is the rest of the stuff we had. So if we grab all of this, hopefully we have enough inventory space. And we just barely have enough inventory space for all of it. So in total, we went from 473 million to 579,379. Now, of course, that also doesn't take into account premium costs. So we have to subtract premium costs. So I'll go through, look at how many accounts I have and get an idea for the premium cost. So in total, I have 50 leather refining accounts, which makes for the math fairly simple. The cost per day to run those accounts is about 560,000 silver. So if we multiply that times three days, because obviously we spent 30,000 focus, then we spent in total in those three days, 84 million silver in premium cost. So we'll add that to our total. And if we subtract our 579 million, so we go 579 million, 379,000. Then we end up with a total profit in our hour of just under 22 million silver. Now, 21 million silver or just under 22 million silver profit for me is fairly low. The main reason why it's so low is you see I refine a lot of 8 and 7 -0. I'm actually in the process of leveling up the accounts. Once those 50 accounts are all fully leveled up, you can actually expect probably minimum four times that. A lot of these 8 that I refine are very low profit. But overall, this is more just to show you the process with which I go through to refine. And these leather accounts were just made within the last month or so. So actually none of my accounts yet are fully maxed out in leather refining. So the profit still has much higher to go. But making 20 to 22 million silver in about two hours of work isn't too bad. Of course, I do still have to sell it. But we're still making 10 million silver per hour even with having, for the most part, only four maxed out tier 4 and 5 and spending the majority of my focus points leveling up the account. If I actually go through and look at how much profit we can expect from these accounts when they're fully done. Yeah, these, if I take my 50 accounts times what will, after the cost of premium, they'll make roughly 600,000 per day, multiply that by three days. At peak, at the current market prices at the peak, once all these accounts are fully maxed out, the profit instead of being 22 million at, for two hours or so will be actually closer to 90 million per two hours. So a vast majority of that silver is going to getting the accounts leveled up to reach that point. Obviously my bar accounts are already there. The bar accounts I'll be doing on stream right after this video. So you can see how much more profit you can make from you know tier four through tier six maxed out accounts versus tier eight it's actually a huge difference especially if you're looking at just the profit number not necessarily the overall silver but i hope you guys enjoyed a look into my refining process and how i go about making so many billions of silver every month now again if you guys didn't hear i am giving away a transport mammoth on twitch this month so you can come over to Twitch after this. There's a link in the description of the video. Come hang out and uh, I will refine the bars and you can see that. Earn some channel points for the giveaway. But with that out of the way, I will see you guys very soon for videos going over the new Asia server beta. And how I'm going to try to at least take over the Asia server economy in a similar way to how I did the main server.